Fans have hailed Dynamo's farewell performance as truly spectacular during his live TV burial last night. The 40-year-old magician, whose true name is Stephen Frayn, made his TV screen come back in 2020 with the one-off series Dynamo is Dead on Sky. Spectators anxiously observed as he lay in an empty grave prior to the application of five tons of soil and the beginning of the three important minutes clock. The escapologist took two minutes and 47 seconds to emerge from the dirt, panting for oxen. The video of Dynamo excavating himself was accompanied by Cam and Terry. It declared, he succeeded. What Houdini was unable to accomplish. And that's the first time someone has ever been able to avoid being buried without a casket. The legend that is Stephen Frayne. That's not credible. Fans praised Dynamo for the heart-pounding act on X, the previous Twitter. One person said, thought I'd watch Hash Dynamo instead tonight, but I wasn't really sure who Dynamo was. Wonderfully inspiring and an amazing assortment of clothing. I'm just relieved that he removed the stoner jacket before being buried alive. Dynamo is being buried alive on live TV. This is crazy, exclaimed a second. And who else agrees with me that Hash Dynamo is incredible and his bravery and honesty are inspiring? Furthermore, magic exists. Hash Dynamo is dead is a heartwarming, relatable magical spectacle within a therapy session, wrote one-third of the comments. Every trick has a connection to mental health, grief, addiction, disability, etc. It also highlights how difficult but crucial it is to look for people who are experiencing similar circumstances, how difficult and stressful it can be to find support, and how difficult but unique the recovery process is. A really amazing television show. Some viewers called Dynamo's death-defying act stage trick nonsense, but many others were impressed. People are really believing this stage trick nonsense, remarked one Ryu. Just seen the end of the Dynamo program with him buried alive, a fellow doubter continued. It seems kind of shady that he left just before the closing credits, with no real drama, it was just, oh, he's out. The practice was started in 1915 by American escape artist Harry Houdini, who was buried under six feet of earth without a cag. However, in his terrified attempt to dig his way out, he passed out and needed his helpers to pull him free by the time his hand broke the surface. In 1949, British magician Alan Allen tried the same feat again and had to be saved as well. When he came out, shaken but alive, he was only a few minutes from death. In 2015, Anthony Britton gave it a try, but he too needed to be rescued. Photographers caught the moment when his hand broke through the ground. A 1999 version of the illusionist David Blaine's act, which involved him spending a week underground in a translucent coffin, proved to be more successful. Dynamo disclosed that he felt the need to move on and that the show was titled Dynamo is Dead because he believes it will be his final act under his stage name. He discussed the reasons behind the death-defying stunt earlier this week and said that the year following the passing of his grandmother, Nellie Walsh, had not been easy for him. I thought that magic had died with her because she introduced me to it. I had to bury the piece of myself that had perished along with her. He continued, sharing details about his mental state of mind, saying, I felt like I didn't have much to live for when I came up with the idea of being buried a lie. However, I've come to realize that I still have a lot to live for and magic to impart, so I must take care of myself. Dynamo acknowledged the risky act, saying, I think it's one of the most dangerous things I have ever done. This captures what it feels like to be living in the dark and feeling like the weight of the world is on me. It's nerve-wracking, and it's truly set in how scary this is now. I can't wait to see what comes next in life. It follows the star's disclosure of how eating undercooked chicken set off a flare-up of Kron's condition that rendered him unable to perform. Dynamo described how issues with his medicine caused his life to descend into a vicious circle, whereby, although he was physically well enough to work, he became profoundly depressed and lost all enjoyment from his job. This week, during a tearful interview with the Sunday Times, he stated, A magician loses their sense of purpose when they take away magnet. The last five years, maybe even longer, I've at times lost the will to live, he told the newspaper, disclosing that he started self-harming and had an identity problem. I am grateful to be alive right now. 
In the end, though, I'll be happy when I emerge from that grave. Feel the wood. Dynamo, who was diagnosed with Crohn's disease in his teens, spent years in agonizing pain after having to have half of his stomach removed. He turned to magic as a way to escape his health issues. In 2011, he became well-known thanks to his amazing card tricks, feats, and street act. But during that period, he has struggled with a chronic condition, which worsened in 2017 after he consumed some re chicken at a fast food restaurant. After becoming silent for several months, he revealed to his admirers that he had been hospitalized due to a mix of food poisoning and Crohn's illness. The entertainer disclosed that he was still coping with the adverse effects of his steroid medicine, which included neck, hands, knees, toes, and ankles being affected by arthritis. Dynamo claimed that occasionally he was unable to shuffle a pack of cards due to the severity of the situation. Promising to return to magic, he said he was working with doctors and physio and doing all in my power to get to 100%.